Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about few of the syndromes which result due to defective formation of your pharyngeal arches. So before going into the discussion in details, let's see one question. And this is an image based question. Have a look on the image first. Now let's see the question. Which of the following syndrome if impaired development of pharyngeal arches is depicted in the image? So it's already told to us that this image was of a syndrome which was related to pharyngeal arches, malformation, maldevelopment. So now the options are Perry Robin syndrome, second is Trichet Collins syndrome, third one is Golden Heart syndrome, fourth is Dijos syndrome. Before going into the uh, discussion of the image, let's uh, let me first tell you that all these four options are in one or the other way related to pharyngeal arches only. So now let's go back to the image. So let me zoom it out a bit. This was the first image given to us. So as we can see that this half of the face have been developed normally whereas this half of the face is hypoplastic. So that means this is hemifacial defect. So it also comes into a spectrum of disease which has hemifacial which is also known as hemifacial microsomia HFM. So HFM is a spectrum in which many of the diseases come among which one is your uh, golden heart syndrome which we are discussing here so the answer to that question is golden heart syndrome so uh, this, these are the features of the golden heart syndrome we are discussing in details so uh, one of the feature is hemifacial microsomia and what happens in hemifacial microsomia is that only the lower half of the face this portion so lower half of the face on one side generally on the one side but rarely it may also happen on the uh, bilaterally also so uh, what happens ki ye niche wala jo portion hai which includes your mandible and also the ears wala portion so they are defective they are malformed and they are generally hypoplastic so as we can see ki idhar wala mein mandible jo hai that hasn't developed very well so uh, the facial feature uh, jo hum log ko yahan dikh raha hai that is due to malformation of your mandible now the ocular features as we can see is these these are the preauricular skin tags which may be present in the other syndromes also but it is also the part of uh, your golden heart syndrome now let's see the other features of it so this is the third image which was given to us and as we all know this is the limbus and here we have a dermoid so as the location of this dermoid is uh, limbal so it is also known as limbal dermoid so limbal dermoid is one of the very important feature which we have in golden heart syndrome now golden heart syndrome jo hota hai that comes in a uh, matlab ये जितने भी सिंड्रोम्स होते हैं इनकी जनरली वी गिव सीक्वेंस के बेसिस पे एक नेम होता है दैट इज कि विच आर द ऑर्गन्स इन्वॉल्व सो जनरली गोल्डन हार्ट सिंड्रोम इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय अ सीक्वेंस नेम दैट इज ऑक्यूलो ऑरिकुलो वर्टिब्रल सीक्वेंस दैट इज ऑक्यूलर फीचर्स लाइक योर लिम्बल डरमोइड एंड ऑल्सो स्ट्रेबिसमिस वगैरह भी प्रेजेंट हो सकता है एंड कभी कभी इट कैन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट द विजन तो दिस इज द ऑक्यूलर फीचर ऑफ द गोल्डन हार्ट सिंड्रोम सो नाउ ऑरिकुल so in auricular as we discussed ki hamare paas uh, we saw in the image also that we have pre auricular uh, skin tags and also there are presence of ki matlab aisa hota hai ki pinna jo hota hai that is also malformed and also sometimes the ear canal that is your external ear auditory canal that is also atrophic which leads to your uh, deafness that is conductive deafness and to wo bhi hum log ko dekhne ko mil sakta hai so uh, ye ho gaya and other feature is other uh, part in the sequence is your vertebral sequence so vertebra mein what are the defects like ki uh, wedge vertebra ho sakta hai it could be butterfly vertebra ho sakta hai and hemi vertebra ho sakte hain so as we know these kind of vertebra jo hote hain they are uh, they lead to spine deformities and uh, jo spine deformity yahan pe milega that will be severe scoliosis so now we know ki golden heart syndrome is also one of the cause of congenital scoliosis so now let's move to the more images related to it so this is again a limbal dermoid these are the preauricular skin tags and this is a malformed ear 
so this again are the these again are the features of golden hair syndrome so now let's uh, discuss it further ha ye maine image include kiya tha to show ki this is unilateral defect most probably as we can see this side of the face is normal and this side is hypoplastic with deformed ear also here also this half of the face is involved whereas this half of the face is normal now let now let's move to the other options uh the second uh the one of the options were tricher collin syndrome so this is the image of tricher collin syndrome let's see this in details so here as we can see these are the defects which are located in the uh, on the lower eyelid these defects are known as colobomas and as we can see the mandibular is hypoplastic and since mandibular uh, mandibular bone is hypoplastic so what happens due to that is ki chin jab retracted hota hai piche ki taraf hota hai to relatively tongue size is large and tongue ki large hone ki wajah se chances of falling back of the tongue is more and uh, what happens ki tongue fall karke larynx ke inlet ko close kar dega and due to that there will be airway uh, difficulties so uh, airway obstruction ke features aayenge and due to that as we can see in this image is baby ko tracheostomy tube bhi lagaya gaya hai and this is the sole reason ki uh, baby cannot breathe as the tongue has fallen back to uske wajah se and in this uh, cleft facial clefts agara bhi present ho sakte hain so those can be also the features and as we can see ki jo cheek hai that is not full like we have a uh, uh, well developed zygomatic bone to uske wajah se cheeks kafi full lagte hain that is the beauty bone but yahan pe as we can see the cheeks are very flat so there is uh, also there are related uh, zygomatic hyperplasia also in this and moreover as we can see the e auricle uh, to ear pinna jo hai that is also malformed along with that ये जो एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनाल है हेयर ऑल्सो इट कैन बी एट्रेटिक एंड एज अ रिजल्ट जो डेफनेस है कंजनाइटल डेफनेस ये हम लोग को इसमें देखने को मिल सकता है एंड दिस इज द रीजन वाई वी रीड अबाउट इट इन इन ई एन टी मोर तो हम लोग इसको डिटेल्स में ई एन टी में पढ़ते हैं नाउ लेट्स मूव फर्दर सो हाइपोप्लास्टिक मेंडिबल एंड जाइगोमेटिक बोन्स लोअर आईलेट कोलोबोमा एंड मालफॉर्म एक्सटर्नल ईयर so these are the uh, two syndromes comparison have begin have been given here as you can see isme ocular features mein hame limbal dermoid mil raha tha uh, in case of golden hair syndrome and also um, hemifacial tha wo mostly unilateral and also auricular skin tags present the usme and whereas uh, tricho call along with that vertebral anomalies bhi tha jiske wajah se scoliosis we read and uh, tricho collin syndrome mein we read about like eyelid colobomas honge then hyperplastic cheek bones honge that is zygomatic bone and also the mandibular mandible was also hyperplastic so uh, iske wajah se we read ki isme hum log ko dekhne ko milega airway obstruction and due to that ventilatory support ki zarurat pad sakti hai we also have one more syndrome that is peri robin syndrome this is prs here also we can see very well ki hypoplastic hai mandible and due to mandibular hypoplasia what happens again yahan pe bhi uh, fall will matlab uh, tongue will fall back and due to what airway obstruction hoga and that will uh, be uh, matlab uske wajah se yahan pe bhi ventilatory supports ki zarurat padegi till now we have read about the features of these syndromes now let's see ki how they are related with the pharyngeal arches so let's move further so as we have read ki in sare syndromes mein there was some common features uh, one of the common feature was mandibular hypoplasia so as we can see ki first wala pharyngeal arch jo hai usko hum log mandibular process bhi kehte hain so the cartilage of it jo hota hai usse hamara mandible bone banta hai so since it is hypoplastic so it is related to the first pharyngeal arch to hum log ye samajh sakte hain ki all these three syndromes in all these humne padha ki mandibular hypoplasia hai so all these syndromes are related to the defect of the first pharyngeal arch now लेट्स सी इट फर्दर कि ये जो हमारा है दीज आर द क्लेफ्ट सो ये सारे हमारे क्लेफ्ट हैं एंड एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट एंड दिस फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट इज लोकेटेड मतलब प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन योर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड आर्च तो फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट जो होता है दैट इज द एक्टोडम विच इज प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड आर्च तो नाउ वी विल बी सींग द डेरेवेटिव ऑफ इट तो लेट्स सी फर्दर 
एज यू कैन सी कि यहाँ पे ये फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट है और फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट का जो डेरिवेटिव है दैट इज एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनाल एंड वी हैव वेरी वेल डिस्कस इन द गोल्डन हार्ट सिंड्रोम एंड ऑल्सो इन ट्रिचर कॉलिन सिंड्रोम कि जो हमारा एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनाल होता है दैट कैन बी अट्रेटिक ऑल्सो एंड दैट कैन इवन नॉट फॉर्म दैट इज अट्रेजिया प्लास्टिक ये सब हो सकता है तो दैट मीन्स कि इवन फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट इज डिफेक्टिव तो फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट का भी डिफेक्ट है दैट मीन्स कि फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड फेरेंजियल आर्च दोनों से ही इसका रिलेशन है एज आई सेड ऑलरेडी सेड कि फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट का मतलब है विच इज़ रिलेटेड बोथ मतलब इट इज़ प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन योर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड आर्च तो इन दोनों के बीच का जो एक्टोडम है दैट इज योर फर्स्ट क्लेफ्ट तो इट विल बी रिलेटेड टू बोथ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड फेरेंजियल आर्चेज सो अभी हमें ये पता चला कि ऑल द थ्री सिंड्रोम्स विच वी रेड अबाउट were uh, somewhat related to the first and second pharyngeal arch but of course it is not solely dependent on the pharyngeal arches only bahut sare aur bhi multifactorial regions hote hain matlab ki genetic causes bhi ho sakte hain inke so wo sab ko lete hue it makes a syndrome entire syndrome but also they are related to pharyngeal arches so they are all uh, part of pharyngeal arches syndrome and the fourth option which we had was dijos syndrome but uh, that is another topic in itself so we will be discussing about in uh, about it in later uh, videos till then happy learning thank you